95.3 Bob FM. It is Eric Wake with you. It is local tracks at 430. And on the line with me is my good friend, Jason Wells. Jason, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? It's good I, to hear a familiar voice. I know. I wish that I could have you in the studio. I miss you so much. And as soon yeah. as this uh, nightmare is over, we can't wait to have you back in. And especially because you have got an exciting year coming up. I know that you were planning on a concert tour, and it was going to be a big one. And you've also yeah. got a big music project that you've been working on. Concerts have kind of been delayed for right now, but it has not stopped you from recording, has it? Oh, no, no. We, we've we been working hard, and uh, we were working on this project uh, before all this because, we, like you said, we were planning on having this all done. Um, so when we hit the road, we'd had some a new project with us and uh, some new material and uh, of course you know, all that was put on the brakes uh, but we are still working on this project and um, I wasn't going to release anything um, until it was all done I was going to keep it secret and um, but with all this uh, I thought it was a perfect time we, we got this uh, first song we got a bunch done um, but this was one of the first songs we did and it is it's the first song off my very first album and uh and then with everything happening, I thought this would be a good time to just go ahead and release that now while everybody's looking for new stuff to listen to and, and all that and uh, get them pumped up for the project when we get it done. So. Absolutely. Well, I got to tell you what, I was so honored. First of all, you sent me uh, the rough draft, which was phenomenal of your brand new single. And then yeah. you released it and you sent me the master. And I am absolutely blown away by this single. I cannot wait for your new project because your new song is called Right Back Where I've Been. And it is stunning, Jason. Stunning. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. I uh, I know when we got done, when we started this project, uh, we've been listening to it. And we're all just sitting back. I mean, we're just like kids in a candy store who didn't listen to it. We were just so thrilled that it, it turned out as well as it did. And uh, we, we totally just... Um, sat in the studio and recorded all this at one time um very minimal recording um process on this like three mics on the drums and we all just were in a room playing and um even vocals um even my last album i kind of went back and and redid vocals and all that stuff and added a couple touches uh but this project is just totally is strictly off the cuff and um uh, and sometimes we didn't even know where the song was really going to go because that's how we play live, you know. Right. Um, we just we just kind of we just kind of let the music um, direct us in a way. We have a very loose structure of the song, and so a lot of times when we get done with the song, we're like, "Wow, that was pretty cool. Never done that before." Well, and this recording here is one of those. So. And this recording is one of those. Your brand new song, it is a rocker, and uh, I can't wait for people to hear it. Now, you've already released this, and as I said, we love to promote local artists. We know a lot of our local musicians are out of work, um, and yeah. so it is so important for people to not only listen to all of our local musicians and singers and artists, but also to buy their songs right now. You guys need it more than ever. Where can people download yeah. your brand new song? It's called Right Back Where I've Been, and how can they buy it? Right now, um, right now it's on my website. It's jasonwellsmusic.com. Um, it's on there. It's only 99 cents. And um, I, it's going to be on all the streaming platforms, but um, they take a little bit of time. And so I just wanted to get it out there. This is the quickest way for me to get it out there and get the word out there. And and uh, that they can just go directly to my site. And then and also when you can buy it off my site, I get all ninety nine cents. <laughs> so, and that's so what that it should be them. exactly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, it's going to be uh, everywhere soon. Um, but th yeah, I'm just trying to get the word out there and, and right now it's just available on my website. Well, uh, I love yeah, the fact Jason that we can give you all of the proceeds. I think that's the way that it should be, especially with artists, music artists anyway. And of course we want to play it for you right now. It is the latest by Jason Wells, the Jason Wells band. Check it out. You're going to want to buy it today at jasonwellsmusic.com. Here it is right back where I've been right here above FM.
Jason Wells of the Jason Wells Band, their latest single, It's Right Back Where I've Been, and we brought it to you right here at 95.3 Bob FM, where we love our local musicians, singers, artists, bands, and we love to promote it. That is an amazing tune, Jason. It's a rocker, <laughs> buddy. You. Right on. Yeah. yeah, thank you, man. Thank you. <laughs> you are so welcome. I can only imagine when you guys were all together and it finally came uh, to being, uh, what yeah. a joy that must have been. Did that just absolutely spark even more creativity to write more songs oh, yeah. for your future project? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, the whole process and the way we've done it and the way it's turning out and some of the other songs that we're doing um, that, that are just as good as that one and turned out just as well. And oh, it's, it's really just, it's been an inspiration and, and it's been really neat for me. I, I just love the fact that, um, it's all, we're just a band and we play and we, I love to play live. I love to play in front of people and I hate recording. So I love going into a studio and play like we're playing live and capture that. And, and some of your past, like your past project was like that as well. Yeah, nine hours was a lot like that, and and uh, we did. I did a little bit, just a touch, and actually the vocals on nine hours um, was not live. I went back, redid the vocals on that. But this project, it's totally just. I mean, even to uh, um, even to, against the will of of many people in my circle, like, <laughs> don't you want to go back? Don't you want to go back and fix the, the fix redo the way? We should go back and redo the vocals. Like, no. Nope. It's all live. No, don't touch <laughs> it's it. What it is. Trust yeah. me, do not it's, touch do it. it. Once, that's it. <laughs> you know, yeah. it, it, it's almost like a painting um, music to me. And I think there's times where you capture it and it's finally done. And if you go back and yeah. you rework it, you will never yeah. ever get that beauty of what you fell in love yeah. with in the beginning. Right, uh, right. And I think, I think, and um, you kind of, it kind of loses. Uh, there's a time to do that. Um, for certain projects, sure. but but um, I think for what what we were going for was just to capture that that live that energy that emotion that feeling that energy that the band had and and you know you can listen to that song and you can listen to you can listen to it five different times and listen to each different instrument and hear different things each time. You well, know? you know that's and, like your albums, Jason. This is what I'm so impressed with you for is every single project that you put out it is different than the previous one you are constantly expanding and trying to uh, get even more creative with every brand new tune and project that you actually produce and i i treasured that about you because it really is inspiring to so many other artists and what is so great about it and, and great about you is you never get stagnant with it. I mean, once all of a sudden that creative door opens, you charge forward, you move ahead, and and uh -huh. you create the next project. And I, I, I can't wait for this one because if this song is a preview of what is ahead and in store for the yeah. rest of us, it is yeah. going to be <laughs> a fantastic 2020 for local music with Jason Wells yeah. and the Jason Wells Band, man. Yeah, it's going to be it's a killer project, man. And I mean, it's, this is, I, we, we've been talking and, and I got to say too, um, the drummer on here, I want everybody to, to know that, uh, he's pretty much just a, he's a legend in the music business and he's won Grammys and everything. And he's played with a lot of my heroes, a lot of my inspiration, a lot of people that I've looked up to and a lot of them learned how to learn music from. Um, he was on those albums, or played on tour with them, or friends with them, and um, he's been in the music business for a long time, and um, he's just thrilled. Even he, even him, is just thrilled with this, and he's like, "This is stuff that it I haven't played, or we, you know, some band hasn't come out with something like this for a long time. The way we're doing it, or the sound, or you know, I just I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I mean that's coming from him, you know." And so that's really inspiring. Well, really you know, and how, and how wonderful is that? Uh, first of all, tell us his name. Uh, George Shepard. 
Yeah, there George Shepard. George Shepard. Yeah. And it must have been pretty amazing for him and probably made him relive a few glory days because, as we now know, projects are so overproduced. And, yeah. Yeah. you know, you go in and you, you, you get the music laid down and it's one yeah. person in the studio at a time, the majority of the time. And then all of a sudden the singer comes in and, you know, yeah. then you master it. Yeah. So, and yeah. instead of just I mean, all like getting that's... together and having a great time and produce some incredible songs like you guys are doing. Yeah. Yeah. And, and to me, that's, that, 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 that it's hard to capture a song's energy doing it like that i mean there's a time to do that and some songs fit that but for my what i like and what 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 my sound i don't feel like that really fits it's not really how i play guitar i don't play guitar like that and so and then also um like george uh, the drummer he he's from the old days when they used to just go into a room with one microphone and record a band right. and you know you had you had an hour of studio time, and you had to get a song, you know. Because it was so, so expensive. You, it still is, but it was yeah. so expensive back then that in a right. lot of artists, they weren't making the millions of dollars that they're making off their tunes now. I mean, yeah. it, it really went to uh, the studio, uh, the recording studio, and then, uh, you know, whatever label you were on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and so and, and it's, so he's he's from that. Like, he's he's done all kinds of things, but... Like that when you said reliving glory days, like that's kind of the the approach that we've we've taken was the old school approach where we're just hey we got we got some songs here's the studio hit record let's go and better make it good <laughs> you know so we've we've taken that approach with this and and I just I am thrilled with this I cannot wait some of my fan favorite songs like Blue River Friend or Foe Another Mountain to Climb. Like we're redoing a lot of those, like, like that song, like right back where I've been, it'll have that same feel and vibe and it'll be different from the original album version. And then, um, and then we also have quite a few new tunes, um, that I'm writing, um, that I've had, that I had written, but it aren't on one of my CDs yet, um. And then we got some jams that we're putting on all kinds of new material too, that we're putting on there. It's a pretty big, um, we're going to have a total of about 12 to 15 or more songs. That's really that sweet. Put together for different things. So, so yeah, like uh, it's going to be, I'm just thrilled. <laughs> I can tell. Well, you should be, you should be so proud of yourself. And along with your band, uh, why don't you give a big shout out to everybody that has been working on this project. That's part of the Jason Wells band. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, so I've mentioned George Shepard. On, on drums um he's grammy award-winning drummer he won grammys with eric johnson like the cliffs of dover eric johnson and um talking heads yeah. and he's played with everybody um and so he, he's on drums mr evan grubbs on the bass guitar uh he's a lafayette resident uh, a lot of people know mr evan grubbs he's been with me for uh about three or four years now and uh he's a great dude hard worker great musician uh and then gary the most interesting man in the band, Smith, <laughs> and he's on the keys. So uh, he's he's uh, also a Lafayette resident. Phenomenal musician, great guy, um, and it's just uh, the chemistry that that we have. Oh, is, is pretty amazing. And also, uh, shout out to uh, my son Gibson. Um, Gibson's the one that um, he's pretty much the engineer of the project. So. He um, he's been in here helping us, um, getting all everything set up, running the running the program, the recording software, and and he's the one that mixed it, mastered it, and all that kind of stuff. I got to tell you what, Gibson is a magician, not just a musician, <laughs> but a magician. Yeah. Is there nothing that that boy of yours cannot do? I got to uh, tell you I what. Know. He is he is simply amazing. I, I he he really is going to be a legend. I think in this business, uh, in his own time, because he does everything. Like you said, he engineers, plays multiple yeah. instruments. He is a producer, and yeah. uh, and he knows a backward and forward. And of course, he got it from his wonderful father, Jason well, Wells, who I'm talking he's... with. He's been raised up in it for a little while. <laughs> well, my friend, when you get the project near completion. I want you back on the air. We can't wait to promote it. 
Uh, this new song yeah. is simply phenomenal. We just heard it. It's right back where I've been. Jason Wells, the Jason Wells Band. You can get your copy today. Go to jasonwellsmusic.com. It's only 99 cents. And what I love about it is every dollar that you people spend on this single, it goes directly to the Jason Wells Band. And that is so important right now. Jason, thank you so much, my friend. You stay in touch with me. I am so proud of you. I cannot wait to hear the new project. This song, it is a stunner. And uh, it is a rocker, too. And I love it. Right back where I've been. Jason Wells Band, get your copy today. Jason Wells Band, or JasonWellsMusic.com with the Jason Wells Band. Once again, it's right back where I've been. Jason, stay safe. Know that you are so loved, not only throughout the community, but also here on Bob FM. And uh, thank you so much for entertaining us in this time where we need music more in our lives than ever. Yes, thank you very much, Eric. Thank you for all you guys do for for myself and for all the music and and the community uh, in general, but uh, especially for all the musicians. You guys have been wonderful, and and I really do appreciate it, not just for myself, but for, for all of my friends and other fellow musicians out there. You guys have been a huge support, so thank you very much. Well, and we will continue to be. It's Jason Wells, live with your wizard right here on Bob FM.